everyone. This is Justin from Justin's Orchids and More. And today we are going to look at some Stanhopias. Um, Stanhopias, they're, they're not, a lot of people are scared to grow these. I really don't know why, because they're, they're really easy. Um, you know, the, they, they love a lot of water. They like a lot of bright, indirect sunlight. Um, you know, when they get to a certain size, blooming size, you're going to want to put a different pot than this because the spike's going to come out down this way. So having a pot like, kind of like that is, is what you're going to be looking for when you, when a plant gets to, um, gets to blooming size. Um, this was, a this was a repot, a no ID repot. I think it was my second video and um i talked to the lady that i got this from and i asked her again just to double check and she told me it was a negro violacea and i really really hope it is i'll put a picture up now in my care since i've had it now i repotted this maybe a week or two ago my care i've been able to you know this is my my care this one right here this new growth and this one right here um, and, and I know, you know, I can tell it, it took well to the repot and, you know, these new growth will, will continue to push up. I'm not worried about this plant blooming. This plant is not blooming size. Um, and you know what, if it tried to bloom, I probably wouldn't let it because I'm trying to, trying to get the plant strong again. Okay. So, um, that one did well for the repot. Here's a, here's another one. Um, and this one I got from the same lady. This is Stanhopia Tricornis. Tricornis. Um, I'll put a picture up of this one. I thought this was a, a, a white flower. You know, that's that's kind of what she told me. I looked the, I looked it up, and the picture picture's a little different, but it's still a very pretty uh, flower. Very different for a Stanhopia. It's not really Stanhopia like. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's kind of cool. All right, since I've had this plant and um, I've been able to grow this leaf, I have a new growth popping up here and I have another one right there, right there. Um, when, I, when I got this plant from her, it really it had no roots. And uh, again, I have this plant in this pot. It, this is it. Uh, this is it. it. It could be blooming size, but I don't really know if it is blooming size. I can look at the pseudo bulbs here, and um, I can I can just tell this this plant's not going to bloom. I'm not worried about putting it in a basket right now. Uh, I want it. I want it to, to catch up and get strong, grow some roots, and um, maybe bloom next year. But it's it's doing fine. It's doing well. Uh, these are like I said. These are fairly easy to grow. They love a lot of water. They love love a lot of fertilizer. Um, when they're actively growing, you, you gotta, you can, you can push them a little bit, um, which I do anyway. But anyway, okay. Big boy right here. Well, I say big boy. Uh, this is my biggest Stanhopia. It's got some nice, good looking leaves. Uh, I bought this a little bit bigger than a seedling. I've had this one for about two years. And if you look right now, you've got one, two, three, four, five new growths. And uh, look at the size of the pseudo bulbs on some of these. I mean, well, can't use that, but this plant has a a good chance of blooming this year and i'm not saying that it will but uh it's it's a heavy it's vigorous um let's look at the what the cross is this came from rogue orchids and this is stanhopia ascendus ascend ascendus cross with a stanhopia Palatus cirros, purple elephant. 
Um, I'll take, I'll put a picture up of both, both parents. I looked them up. Uh, should be a interesting flower. But um, I was wanting to repot this one sooner, but I've been waiting on my pots to get here. Let me show you what I ordered. These right here are perfect. If you like to grow Corianthes and Stanhopias, and uh, I, I've got a, I got a video I want to make on Corianthes too, because I got a really cool Corianthes that's that's doing well. Um, very similar, you know, as far as care methods, they're about the same. They both have you know spikes that bloom out the bottom. So you know, getting a pot like this, this is an eight inch basket. And this is absolutely perfect for growing mature, you know, Stanhopias and Corianthes. Perfect. Uh, I went ahead and got like five of them. But this is what we're going to be repotting this orchid in today. And I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I started my physical therapy, by the way, and uh, they gave me this other brace to put on my hand, but um, she told me I could take it off and let it breathe some. I can do this, just can't do that yet. <laughs> so maybe in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to do that. It's still swollen, though, but hey, it's getting better. Okay, so with the Stanhopia, I could leave this Stanhopia in this pot. Um, but I know I want to stay ahead of the ball game because I know that is going to start swelling up. This is going to start swelling up and, you know, all, well, all of the pseudobulbs will start swelling up. And if they can get, and they will get to that size, they're going to be hanging over the, you know, over the basket this way, like over here and over here. So I just kind of want to get ahead of the ball game. I'm going to put it in this basket, same way like that. And then this is good for at least another year, maybe two years, probably two years, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's gonna go right in that basket. So here we go. First, I wanna be careful here. And I don't think this is gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time getting it out of the pot. I don't wanna break any. Break any roots. Yeah. See, this isn't even a... I thought it had a better, a better root system than that. I need to get some of this moss off. Let's see if I'm in on the camera. Yeah, okay. And I'm just trying to be careful. Uh, yeah, let's see, let me grab like this. I don't want to disturb it too much. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, I hope that everybody's having a good day at work. I wish I was at work today. I'm sick of staying home. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, that's better. I really thought this had a bigger root system than that, but that's okay. That is okay. Now what I'm gonna do set this over here somewhere I don't mess it up right now and I 
I tell you what, for somebody that doesn't like to use sphagnum moss a lot, I sure have been using it a lot lately in my videos. <laughs> oh man, uh, but but uh, I mean with the with these you you got you got to use it. So what I'm gonna do is I've already soaked some soaked some more sphagnum, and I want to. Put some around the bottom like that. And, and then I want to take a little Orchiana bark and just kind of lay it on the top here. Like that. And then I'll lay a little more sphagnum on the sides here. Kind of push right in the center like that. And let's just look at the plant. Now, I'm looking at it. Let me get a hold of it here. I'm kind of, let's see if I'm in camera. I'm kind of looking at where these growths are coming out at. On this side, which I know I got one over here. I know I got one there, but they're all they're all on this side. So I really want to get maybe this more of this side right here in the middle of the pot. So everything can kind of fill up fill out this way like this. Kind of like that. So Put it in there. I'll be back. I want to anchor this. I want to get some wire. I want to anchor this. I'll be back. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, what I did was I tied one piece of wire around this way and pushed it or tightened it. So I got the, the plant more on this side. And then I took another piece of wire here and I went across it this way and tied it down here. And all I've done is I've just secured the plant. This plant's gonna get really big and uh, I want it to be stable in the pot. So I had to, had to tie it up a little bit. Now, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna kind of hurry here through this. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay some more sphagnum moss around the outside That looks good. And I'm, I'm gonna do something a little different with this moment. Uh, this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay some bark in here around, since I've got this side of the plant kinda, kinda pushed back this way. And now all these growths on this side here are gonna hopefully grow out this way. So I've got the crown a little cocked like that. And I wanna put some bark in there around those roots. I don't want to have a bunch of wet sphagnum moss 24-7 on it. And we're going to try that. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do. I'll add a I'll put a hanger on it later on, um, but that's it. That's a, that's a repot on a pretty good size Stanhopia, which I know they get, they get huge, but, um, I'll be more than happy to show you the blooms when they come. They are very interesting. They are very fragrant. You know, I know a lot of orchid flowers, you know, they might be fragrant during the day at certain times, so they might be fragrant at night. But uh, I know from growing these at the UNC greenhouse, 
these things will, they're fragrant day and night. And I think maybe it's because the flowers don't last that long. But uh, yeah, you can walk up this, this plant in the evening after the sun's down. It's still just as strong as it is during the day. Or at least, you know, from, from my knowledge of what, what I've learned about the plants. But anyway, I hope everyone has a good day. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. I've got a lot more videos coming. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope everybody has a good day and I'll see you on the next one.